Hey everyone, we're back this morning. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so today we're gonna kind of change it up a little bit from our standard. What we've been doing is just like a basic finger exercise to coordinate our right hand with our left hand, but today we're just gonna jam on some chords. So get your guitar tuned up. Um, we're gonna be playing just with G, C, and D, and then we'll change it up about halfway through. All right, so starting with our basic G chord, here we go. So you can strum along, feel free to arpeggiate. I'm gonna be doing a combination of both. If you're feeling froggy though, you can uh, always go ahead and take a solo on your own as well. Um, you can go ahead and do a, like a G major pentatonic, E minor pentatonic shape. Anything in G major is gonna sound great. So let's have some fun with this, here we go. All right, before we move on to our uh, next chord change, we're gonna run that right hand, left hand exercise one time. We're not gonna get by without doing it today. All right, so uh, fifth fret, uh, low E string, starting on the note A with our first finger. We're just gonna run the standard exercise, not the, uh, not the one we did yesterday where we reverse things, but the, just the basic one from the intro. All right, one, two, here we go. Yeah, and that should be getting a little bit better today than even it was yesterday. We're working on a little bit of progress each day with that one. Um, all right, so let's uh, sticking with the chordal theme today. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna switch to a E minor to a. C to a D. Now for my D chord, I'm actually just taking my open C chord, sliding it up two frets. It gives it kind of like a very open um, sound. A lot, of, a lot of actually like folk guitar players do that often. They move their C chord to their D chord using the same shape. Um, but if you want to stick with your standard D chord, that's fine as well. So we got E minor, C to D. It's gonna be a little bit faster. Um, if you're trying to do your own solo improvising on this, stick with that E minor pentatonic. And you'll be just fine. All right, let's go.
I, uh, that's a fun thing to do at the end there. You can add the uh, the nine to that minor chord. It's just your standard E minor chord. But if you add your pinky to the second fret on that high E string, it adds the nine to that chord. You'll be playing an E minor nine. Has a cool sound to it. So yeah, just uh, kind of changing up with the chords today. Stick with that basic right hand, left hand finger exercise as well on guitar, and you'll get a little bit better at it each day. I'll see you all tomorrow for something new.